things. This is called the candy cyclone. You can make gumballs, lollipops, licorice, and a bunch of different candies. The candy cyclone comes with the base, ramp, globe, crank and stamper, licorice presser, plastic knife, two dishes, four pop sticks, and four two ounce cans of Play-Doh. The first thing that I made was gumballs. To do that, you take a small piece of Play-Doh and roll it out, and the directions warn you not to overfill it, and I found that to be true. Start with a little bit of Play-Doh, insert it in the top of the cyclone, and start cranking. After a few cranks, you'll see your gumballs coming down the chute. To make multicolored gumballs, roll different colors of Play-Doh together before adding it to the top of your cyclone. One thing that I noticed every time I used new Play-Doh was that the gumballs got stuck coming down the chute. A few times it's not as sticky and it doesn't do that anymore. Next, I used the licorice presser to make a lollipop. You can use the crank and stamper to make little candies. And those are really fun, but making gumballs is definitely my favorite. Especially when Lightning McQueen and Sally come to play. There are two candy trays, so after mixing up some red and white Play-Doh and making some more gumballs, candy. Uh-oh, Sally snuck in there. You better watch out, Sally. Toys here and today we'll be showing you how to make a one-piece swimsuit for Elsa out of Play-Doh. 
For the swimsuit, I used both blue and purple Play-Doh to match Elsa's coronation dress. To start, I'm going to cut out the front piece of the swimsuit. So kind of make a heart shape at the top and then curve in, kind of like an hourglass shape. And we'll continue that down straight and this bottom part will go underneath her and around the back. Once you have it cut out, just rip off the extra Play-Doh and we'll put it on Elsa. The Play-Doh sticks on pretty easily, so we'll just start at the top, just press it to her body, and then work your way down, press on the sides, press and then up up to the back. Now I have her front covered, but I don't have her back end covered, so just cut out a straight line and then a curved half circle, and this will be the back of her swimsuit. See her back end is not covered, so we just gotta put this little Play-Doh half circle. Just line it up to her underwear and press it to her body. The front and the back of Elsa's swimsuit do not connect, so I rolled out a little string of Play-Doh. We're going to just connect it from the front to the back. And of course do the same thing on the other side. I am done with the blue Play-Doh, now I'll move on to the purple Play-Doh. It's going to go from her midsection and then along her back, and it will be decorative. Now since the front of her swimsuit kind of curves in like an hourglass, I want to cut out this purple piece in the shape of a trapezoid. But to get the piece to fit around her body nicely, just take a little cut into the top of the trapezoid. Now it's time to take this big strip of purple Play-Doh and put it on the Queen Elsa Barbie. Just wrap around her back. And we have a little extra Play-Doh. So just grab your Play-Doh knife and cut along the blue swimsuit line and rip off the extra Play-Doh. The next thing I need to do is add a strap to the swimming suit. So I just rolled out with my fingers a long strip of purple Play-Doh. We'll connect it on one side and you can just tuck it underneath the swimsuit. Wrap it around. We've got a longer strap than we need, so just rip off the extra Play-Doh. Swimsuit. Now Elsa's swimsuit looks pretty good right now. We could probably stop here, but I think it needs a little more decoration. So I'm going to add some detail to the blue part. To liven it up a little bit, I'm going to add a little ribbon going from the strap. And push it down, and we'll make a V shape. Bring it back up and then I'll cut it off. And to match some of the shapes that you see in Elsa's coordination dress, I'm going to cut out a diamond. I'm going to put the diamond just at the bottom of the ribbon here. That way it kind of looks like a necklace or it could just be decoration on the swimsuit itself. And now Elsa's swimsuit is complete. I really like the blue and purple colors. It matches her eyes and eyeshadow. And I really like that the swimsuit is one piece and it's modest. Now all you have to do is find a beach for Elsa.